So the next file uh, package we've got is libxslt and this needs libxml2 oh by the way I've already knocked off NSS and NSS is one of the packages under the security section which we're dealing with at the moment so it wouldn't have been one of the packages I was intending to build but as I said before it turns out that some of the packages we are in or, or will be installing uh, does come back to the security section to install and here, here's an example already so that's that's already knocked off so going back to libxslt it's got a dependency of libxml2 and it's recommended to install these two packages here and it says although it's not a direct dependency as many applications using libxslt which is the package we're about to install expect these two packages to be present so that's why it's recommended and then we've got two optional ones um, oh it says the libxml2 for python2 dependency is only appropriate if the python2 module for this package is needed the libxslt python2 module is not needed for any package in blfs but various packages may install python2 modules which reference it so we can put that in there just in case that happens so again I'll go to the end of the list so there's NSS so it's the previous one to that and there's a Python 2 module and now the Python you'll see this is a huge page here um, with all the different modules for Python uh, so oh what was it called I've come off of that it's called libxml2py2 I shouldn't have moved that too far tell you what I'll do is I'll open it up again and move it you can't move these tabs as you can to where it should be libxml2 yeah um, yeah it looks like we're going to have to install Python 2 yeah the, the, the reason why they've installed these put all these Python modules together is because they're quite quick short snappy uh, installations so that's why they're all on this one page and I believe that most of these uh, Python modules get Get installed throughout the build so um, this you know it, it might be something you, you might want to consider going through the whole page and just installing all of the modules possibly just to make life a little bit easier rather than switching backwards and forwards but I'm, I'm not going to do that I'm just going to stick to what I actually need um, without having to work, you know install other you know a, a few other Python modules that I might need but I'm not sure if I do or not so it says this needs libxml2 which is one of the packages we've already got queued up to build so I'm going to move that after python and we also need python2.7 and it says there's a note about it. it's been deprecated since the beginning of this year 2020 um, and they're trying to move it to python3 as well um, any packages that rely on it so this has got some options and this is for additional modules we've got SQLite already we can install TK if we want to um, okay so TK needs XORG libraries which we haven't got at the moment that's what we're intending to build eventually so we can't actually build that at the moment um, optional. so what I might do is uh, just ignore that TK for now um, especially as this is a deprecated package get rid of that um, I'm not going to install Valgrind or Valgrind, I'm not sure how you pronounce that. Um, it's more of a development tool than 
uh, a lucky user space to tool so I'm not going to install that blues Bluetooth protocol stack for Linux so this machine has got um, Bluetooth in it so it looks like there could be something useful to install um, just see what the dependencies are like if they're very onerous or not dbus recommended X okay so I probably don't want to install this at the moment or if I do I'd install it and reinstall it when we've got X running and it is a requirement for blues glib this is quite getting quite involved isn't it already this requires CMake I think CMake requires yeah it needs QT which is optional and that probably needs Xorg which we haven't got yet it does so already we're coming against up against stumbling blocks we've got to start making decisions about how far we follow down these trees because it is potentially causing us problems so I'm inclined to ignore this blues at the moment um, and maybe either come back to it when xorg is installed or it may be a dependency of another package after we've installed xorg so I'm gonna get rid of these ones for now and yeah it's only optional anyway so it's not like recommended or anything for Python 2 so we'll just install Python 2 as it is so let's go to F2 go back and search for Python 2 I'm not sure if it's, no it's got a space in it Nope. How have I spelt it? Oh, it's Python, Python dash two. There is two dot seven dot one seven. So we'll download it. back and download the documentation as well and go back caution after installing this package or updating pip2 with the command pip2 install upgrade pip it will remove pip3 installed in LFS to reset pip and pip3 run as the root user ok so I guess that should really have been after these instructions we could forget that so we'll have to try and remember that that's quite important if that, that pip3 gets removed Anyhow, let's uh, go back and extract Python 2. Oops. Oh, that's the docs, sorry. Made this mistake before with the Python in Linux from scratch. We need to um, extract the Python, but with a capital P. That's the main package. Okay, so now we can start building it.
case that's installed I'm just marking off this as being built even though it isn't quite finished yet just so I don't forget and now we can run the test it says the test at the top it says the test take a while to run seven SBUs uh, with parallelism of four which is what I'm using so it's going to take a little while but it's worth testing just for confidence so I'm going to do time just to see out of interest how long it does actually take as you can see I've just typed in the command it's nice and short and we'll run that and see how it goes
So we can now go ahead and um, install the package. So let's become the root. Make install. And I'll copy the other part of the installation. There's a ball in there about uh, the deprecation of this version. So it's probably not completely necessary to build it, but um, if, if you do need it, at least you know I've had a demonstration of it. So the next bit is just to install documentation. And that's done. So once again I didn't check the Okay, there's just one other switch here with looks of it. It's just saying if you want to build a DBM module against but 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 DB or GDBM. So the GDBM is the one that gets installed in um, Linux from scratch. So that's just a choice. And it says there if you want uh, to use the correct documentation the Python 2 documentation to put that command in into the profile well we're just really interested in this for uh, reasons of another package unless of course you do want to use Python 2 um, to develop for development then you're obviously going to need to put that in somewhere into your profile right so that's done I've checked it off my list so we can now tidy up Okay, shut this tab down now. <laughs> 